Hi guys, in today's video we'll be doing this Pegasus Unicorn Spy doll. I asked if you guys were interested in seeing a doll like this quite some time ago and I finally got around to making it. For the base of this project we'll be using this Avia Trotter Monster High doll since she is a center and harpy mix I believe, but I've just picked the wings off. For the wings I use my posable angel wing tutorial, I'll link that both at the end of the video and in the info box so you guys can see how to make them, and I did them ahead of time just because otherwise this video would just be way too long. This doll comes with black hands, probably to be gloves I think, so I started by switching those out with a pair of purple hands from another doll that just matched a little bit better. Now onto the head. I like working on the head and body separately so I pull it off the body and then I cut away all the hair and remove it from the inside using a pair of tweezers. Then I use some acetone nail polish remover to remove the factor pin of the face. Once the face is all clean, you want to get it a prime with the Mr. Super Clear spray, and then get out your materials for the repaint. I like using my watercolor pencils, chalk pastels, and in this case I also use a bit of mica powder, but you couldn't really see it in the end, so you can skip those if you don't have them. I started by sketching on the eyes using a gray pencil, so I had the basic shape down before I went in with the black, which is just, you know, a little permanent. I also had a picture of a horse's eye on my phone, uh, just for reference and a bit of inspiration. And here I'm adding a bit of mica powder to the iris because I thought I could actually color it completely with just dusting it on there, but it just wasn't opaque enough, so I end up coloring it later. And since the shimmer kind of got everywhere, I used an erasure to kind of tone it down a little bit. For shading, brushing and highlighting I used some chalk pastel just for a soft look and this is kind of like applying makeup I think. And I kept the tones matching the skin so I shaded with a darker purple. I did white for highlights just because it's not that opaque once you seal it with the spray later. And for the cheeks I also went with a kind of purplish pink. I like curling the lips with pastel as well, just because it gives a nice soft look. For the eyebrows, I sketch them on using chalk pastel very softly at first, before going all over them with a pink pencil.
And this is how far I got in the first layer. And then I sealed it with the Mr. Super Clear Spray again and worked on top. I let the steps repeat themselves in the following layers, just to build up color and just to make everything look sharp. I went for a slightly hazy look to the eyes by using chalk pastel again in black to make the pupils. I will often add a bit of black shading to the outer corner of the eyes just to add depth. I also shade the whites of the eyes using black just so they don't look too flat. I use a white pencil to make harsher highlights around the face. And time for another spray. I added some white lines to the eyes to make them look less flat, and then again a lot of the steps are the same. I only draw on lower lashes because I'll be adding dull eyelashes afterwards. I used the watercolor effect of my white pencil to make the highlights of the eyes, which I need to be very opaque. Once you're happy with the look of the face, then give the final seal. For hair, I'll be using some 100% acrylic yarn in a dusty pink. To 
make it into doll hair, you first want to brush out the yarn and then straighten it with a straightener. Then to make the curls, you want to take each strand, wrap it around some type of cylinder, I'm using a ring mandrel, and then you want to heat it up with a flat iron again. I want all the hair to flip over in one direction, so I'll be starting at one side and working my way over. Now I can add on some doll eyelashes before glazing the eyes. Now onto the body. I started by removing the tail with a pair of pliers. I carefully use a bit of acetone on a q-tip to remove these marks. Get out some acrylic paint and then paint the hooks. For the tail, you want to take the same yarn as we'd use for the hair and add glue to the tops of them to make wefts. Once that's dry, you want to roll them up and glue them together. For her top, I wanted to use feathers to match the wings, so I took some regular sized feathers and cut them into smaller ones like I'm showing here. And then once I was done with that, I decided to add a tint to the edges of them using some chalk pastel. Then I glued them onto the top in layers. I tinted the bigger feathers of the wings the same way, just to make it all match. As a final detail, I used some white female polymer clay to make the horn by twisting two cone shapes together before baking it, and then I slightly tinted the edge of that one as well with the chalk pastel. Glue that in place and then she's done! Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this project, let me know in the comments if you did and hit the like button and I'll see you guys in a new video real soon, bye!